The Arizona Constitution in Article 2, Section 2 makes it perfectly clear that in Arizona, quote, all political power is inherent in the people, and governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. Across Arizona's universities over the last year or so, our professional law enforcement officers, our administrations, the clear majority of more than 100,000 students, their parents and families, and the majority of the tens of thousands of faculty and staff have spoken loudly and clearly with one voice. We do not want more weapons on our campuses, and we would like the basic right to determine the weapons policies for ourselves, as we ably do with so many other issues. Yet once again this year, a small group of legislatures are acting in concert with special interest political groups to allow guns on university campuses across Arizona. On February 6th, the Senate Judiciary Committee passed Senate Bill 1474, which requires, requires public universities and community colleges to allow anyone age 21 or older with a concealed carry permit to carry a gun on campus. The authors of SB 1474 proposed the bill ostensibly in the name of promoting better safety on Arizona's university campuses. However, the reality is that allowing guns on campuses will not promote but will likely jeopardize all of our safety. Despite the many inspirational stories in the NRA's magazine, The Rifleman, which I read on a regular basis, the extremely rudimentary training required to obtain a concealed weapons carry permit at this point in time in no way equips its holders to make the sorts of life-changing, split-second choices required when shooting in an emergency situation under extraordinary duress. By contrast, the university police officers across the system complete more than 70 hours of firearms training and continue their training over the course of their careers, both on the range and in the classroom, in preparation for such sorts of emergency shooting situations. The universities continue to review, update, and test protocols to respond to violent as well as nonviolent crimes on campus. Let me be really clear here. I don't oppose gun, under, gun, I don't oppose gun ownership. In fact, I'm a lifelong owner of guns. I have lots of guns. I use guns on a regular basis. But maybe it's time to take the issue of guns on university campuses to the voters themselves and the communities most directly affected. That which governs best governs least. The university community welcomes the chance for open dialogue with the SB 10 1474's authors about the guns on campus issue and strongly encourages the, guns the bill's proponents to visit the very folks that purport to represent and engage all of us at the most local level possible. Thank you.